It was only eight years ago when I was living in Brisbane trying to be self-employed until I moved to Thailand and decided that I would never go back to Australia again. Today guys, I will give you six reasons why I will live and stay in Asia and never return in Australia. Number one is the cost of living. Oh my goodness, I look like shit. I need a haircut. The number one is the cost of living. So rent in Australia is hella, hella high. Like it is crazy high. Sydney as well is really high. I could probably get the same thing over here in Thailand for far more lower than I can in Australia. And it's like, why would I put myself through that? You know, why would I put myself up paying such a high rent? And just for what? Like not the best quality of life? Like don't get me wrong, like Australia does have, you can have a good quality of life there, but for someone who at the time wasn't making enough, why would I want to put myself through all that stress just to maintain a life there with high bills, high rents? Like no. Even when you make more money, why would you just me personally, I don't want to, like, I want more money left over. I want to be able to save. Point number two, saving more money. You get to save more money. Due to the cost of living being so low, you get to save more money here. So you get to invest. With that, you can invest in property. You can invest more in stocks. You can invest in... Um, crypto or you can have a holiday oh my god no one's going to kill me <sighs> okay so point number two is that if when you're an entrepreneur and you are hustling you are working sometimes it's hard to cook at home right well here in Thailand you can order online like grab kind of like uber eats and it doesn't cost a lot. The cost is so low. Like you can get a meal for around three to two dollars. That's takeaway. And sometimes you can even go into like a really nice restaurant and eat out. While in Australia, it's like twenty dollars, thirty dollars around for Uber Eats. Maybe more when you go out, depending where you go. Okay, so my groceries was twenty three dollars this week. Oh, that. And vegan. You know how expensive vegan food is in Australia or America. It's not no $23. I got like five slabs of tofu, big bottle of soy milk. I got a lot of stuff. So I can't wait to start cooking for the week too. Point number three, um, hospital care, doctor care. <laughs> The cost in Australia is like free sometimes, right? With Medicare. But my mom has recently, ew, why are you peeing there? My mom recently told me that with Medicare now, sometimes you guys, depending where you go, I think you have to pay to see a doctor, which is crazy to me because you have to pay to get recommended. Like, for example, I had an eye injury here in Thailand and I, in Australia, you have to go to the doctor and then from the doctor, you have to go see a specialist. I went to the hospital and I didn't have to do none of that BS. I went directly to the expert, which saves so much time. Oh my goodness, that saves so much time. And it was only like $41 and plus the antibiotics that I got for my eye. So I was like, wow, this was so quick. Um, and insurance sometimes covers it. I haven't even checked if my insurance will cover it, but I'm pretty sure it would. They covered for my wisdom tooth removal, which I did here. So yeah, for around, I think it was like $60. Don't quote me, around 60, between 90 and $60. I removed my wisdom tooth here. So that's another, you know, I don't know how much it is in Australia. Maybe it's less if you have Medicare. I don't know, but my insurance covered it. And yeah, I actually had a bad experience with this one though. And I will make another video on that. But hey, it's not like I haven't had bad experiences in Australia's healthcare system either. When I'm older, when I decide to retire, I can retire here and my, I guess my super, which I'm not relying on that, but let's say I was relying on my super because 
all hell went to you like I lost everything or something that would stretch me out and let me live a longer lifestyle here in Thailand compared to living in Australia where high cost of living I'll probably have to live somewhere probably not in a safe neighborhood while here in Thailand pretty much it's safe everywhere okay I'm not gonna say it's 100% perfect but it's a lot more better than Australia you Okay, the other point I wanted to make is the produce. The produce here is so good. This is durian, so the lady was really nice. She gave me an extra one for free. Let's try the yellow one first. Ooh, this one's much better. My sixth point is customer service. Customer service here is way better than it is in Australia. And there's a lot of business here that are basically, it's their own business, right? So, for example, this lady gave me this piece of durian for free, which will probably cost, judging on the weight, probably, I don't know, it will cost a fair bit. A lot of businesses do that. Be like, oh, here, have this for free. And I'm like, oh my God, so nice. Because you purchase or they know that you always go there. So they're just being kind by giving you something for free because they know you always go there. Or even if you're new, a new customer like this is my first time here she gave me ah oh, let you try this for free and it's really good so the customer service here is the best customer service i have ever experienced in the world thailand has the most best customer service ever it's escaping the recession when you come to like a place like here when the recession does rise it doesn't really matter as much as it does in Australia, okay? For example, Australia prices be crazy, man. I remember going there going, oh my God, this butter that once cost like $2 is now six or $4, what the hell? While over here, when it rises, it doesn't really affect me as much as it does in Australia. Okay, the next thing is natural medicine alternatives. There is so much here in Asia compared to Australia. Like I was, I was shocked. I was like, oh my God, there's just so much. Even in 7-Eleven, you've got natural alternative medicines compared to other medicines and they work really well. Like when I was sick, I used a lot of those stuff and um, yeah, no problem. So that's another benefit of moving overseas. You open your door to a lot more, if you're into that, more natural alternatives. For me, I am a lot more into that, more herbs and stuff like that compared to traditional drugs, etc. By the way, I have a really cool video coming soon, so make sure to subscribe and notification to find out what happened when I got my wisdom tooth put out here in Asia.